Oh, amour de Italie, ça c'est vrai, hein? In, in English? Yes. Uh, I, I had the privilege of being at the uh, American Academy of Rome in, in 1990 and 91. And uh, it was there that I, that I really felt this, this urge to, to, to paint a uh, landscape because in Tuscany and in Rome there are some of the most splendid landscapes, obviously, that have been painted by, by the greatest painters of all time, the Renaissance painters. But I did not have the comfort of, of, uh, of the technique to do it. So, and at, this, at that time I was also working with a lot of symbolism, a lot of uh, more conceptual work, things, things that were coming out of uh, an intellectual place in myself rather than a, a visceral uh, contact with, with nature. But that experience in Rome uh, obviously impacted my work in some way and gave me the desire to go further. So that when I came back to Paris, I, I, had a, I, I found a, a master and who, who gave me the tools to, to go further. Well, Menton is, is the last city before the Italian border, and that's Monte the Carlo. Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo, Monaco, Monton, Monton, and après uh, Italy after Italy. So Monton was, was a town uh, in the 19th century where a lot of English people went. To, the Queen went there because it, uh, there's a microclimate there. Very, very temperate, very lovely all year long. And a uh, botanist went there and they, and, they, and they created these gardens for pharmaceutical reasons, uh, primarily for pharmaceutical because um, they needed these plants to, to make medicines. So Thomas Hanbury who is an Englishman, went there and he created one of the most beautiful botanical gardens in the area. And uh, I'm just in the last phases of the administrative uh, uh, slowdown of Italy to, to, to be able to go and paint there. I think that uh, most likely that's going to happen and that will be in 2014 in the springtime. Now this is a botanical garden, so everything is labeled. Uh, it's much more formal. The the, the pathways, the 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 environment is much more controlled. We feel the the man's hand uh, in this garden, whereas the garden here in Rayol is what we call a rustic garden. Uh, even though there are five gardeners full time on staff, you don't really have a feeling that uh, that it's man made. <laughs>